welcome to Sassy Studio YouTube channel. Let's talk about charcoal. This is an overview. So the first thing I have is vine charcoal. It comes in a long stick or a package of three, and it's hard, medium, or soft. I normally use medium. You can also buy willow. So I break it up into a half a piece or a quarter of a piece. You don't need the long stick, so just snap it, put it in a container, and then I add some white chalk. Yes, the good old chalk from the chalkboard. You can use Conti or you can also use the white charcoal pencil. There's something called compressed charcoal and it comes in a stick like this. It is pretty dark because it's mixed with vine charcoal as well as gum arabic and it's also in these pencils. You can get them to be dark, medium or light or dark, medium or soft and you can also get to the 4B HB. So what else can you use with charcoal? Sandpaper or a sanding block. So this has been stapled with a piece of paper, lift the paper off, and this is how you sharpen your charcoal. It can be used for a really long time, so don't use another piece, just hold on to it. It works for a while. So you have blending stumps and tortillas. The blending stumps come in number one and two, and then you have an eraser. Just any type of eraser works for this, as well as a gum or kneaded eraser. It comes in a package, but once you start using it, it will look more like this, and you literally just kind of play with it to clean it. So I'm snapping it apart, and then I'm kneading it to clean it. Pretty cool, I think. So here's how you use the sanding paper. You just go back and forth with the vine and then make a spear, and it really helps sharpen it, and you can use it for a long period of time. For the charcoal pencils, I'd use a metal pencil sharpener like this, and a chamois, you don't have to buy a chamois, a tissue works just as well, and here are your charcoal supplies, you're ready to go. So what type of paper? True Ray paper, I use that. It is construction paper. I like to use that or I could use pastel paper. This one has a bit of a tooth. I like both to be toned and gray is kind of my preferred color. Hairspray fixes it, which means it allows the, the charcoal to kind of stay on the paper. So wave it about 12 inches from your art when you're done. So thanks for tuning in, liking, and subscribing to my YouTube channel.